The stage is set. The condemned have ascended Mount Calvary, Golgotha, the place of the skull. There were also two others, criminals, led with him to be put to death. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Then one of the criminals in verse 39, who were hanged, blasphemed him saying, if you are the Christ, save yourself and us. This is you, this is me. You have thus far denied the claims of Christ and turned and spurned the perfect ways of God. The call to us, the call to you, the call to me is to see the state of our heart, a heart that is no different to this blasphemer of the eternal Son of God. You who have lived in more knowledge of God that you care to give credit but have suppressed the truth in unrighteousness. To live for yourself, to live for time. Well, today is the day of reckoning. Today is the Lord's timing for you. But the other answering rebuked him saying, do you not even fear God? seeing you are under the same condemnation. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. This is the heart of a man repenting. He began to fear God. Do you fear God? The question must be posed and you must respond, do you? Do you truly fear the God of eternity? Seeing what he has seen, being near to this Savior hanging on a tree, knowing what he now knows of this one who has been nailed to a cross to be an example for the whole world and for all of time. Death is absolute, death is sure but you dare to gamble on your odds of self-justification, either through infinite knowledge or moral perfection to be measured up against this one who is said of himself, no one comes to God except through me. This is our measuring stick. Jesus will take measure of our lives. Salvation of our soul comes at the acknowledgement of our state as a sinner who can't change his ways but sees in Jesus Christ that he bore in himself God's wrath to meet the requirements of God's law and in repentance and with a contrite heart turns from sin and no longer practices or has anything to do with it. Our sin for his righteousness what an incredible transaction. For Christ came to take upon Himself the iniquity, the sin, the guilt of us all. Jesus would bear the sin of the world, your sin, my sin. In Jesus Christ's death, He alone would reconcile the world to Himself. For only Jesus could endure the just outpouring of God's wrath for the sin of mankind. The transaction that was paid at the death of Jesus Christ made possible the salvation of every sinner who would trust in Jesus to cleanse our consciences and cleanse our minds from the filth of this world and utterly transform our nature into that of a justified believer. Through the substitutionary death of Jesus Christ, He died in our place. And what you do with this is only the thing 
that truly counts on this day. Only through faith in His name. Be expressed in repentance towards God and faith towards Jesus Christ, do we now have a way of escape and not to share in the same eternal fate as those who choose their own way or own terms in this life? For the Bible tells us all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Be sure that the time of the second coming of Jesus Christ is nigh. So where will you be? With the mockers or with the saints? On which side have you chosen to align? Friends, Christ has provided salvation. He can save you. But now you have to choose. Will you choose Him this day? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together to remind ourselves of this incredible transaction, my sin for your righteousness, my life for yours. Now that I am in you, I reckon myself to be at the same time on that cross where you died. I no longer live, but I pray you would continually live in me. Lord, if there is any heart here today that does not know sins forgiven and a born again life to serve and to follow you. I pray that they will be plagued, that they would be convicted, that they would, Lord, be brought to a place where they would have to acknowledge you are Lord and you are God. Don't let anyone escape, Lord. The call has been made. The answer must be given. I pray that every life here would make their peace with you this day. In Jesus' name, amen.